Day 12 guys, what a ride. Barely got any sleep last night. I was up all through, deep diving into suspension geometry and how to blend different suspension systems for this modification. My brain was on overdrive. At dawn, I picked up Dogo and we linked up to Balogun. The cut wasn't finally done yet, but it was close. We grabbed the crossbar and headed straight to the workshop to wrap things up. The mod looked promising. It would work, but still needed some fine tuning. While we were figuring things out, the security guard walked up to me and mentioned the world that next door who was curious about our project. I told him to send him over, and that's how Romanos joined the team. Guys, meet Romanos. From the moment I spoke to him, I knew he was a guy. Calm, skilled, confident, my kind of person. The way he handled tools gave me the assurance I needed. I quickly dashed to the office to grab the welding and cutting tools, and Romanos even offered his generator. Solid guy. Meanwhile, the solar panels were already mounted, but I didn't wire them up. That will come later. Once I got back, the cutting and welding kicked off. We managed to fix the axle, but ran into the issues with the struts and springs. The tires were brushing against the springs. Lesson learned, next conversion will need a 4-inch extension. Still, we tried to test it, and for the first time, the keke turned over. That moment, priceless. Seeing something you built actually move, even if it's not perfect, that's a different kind of joy. I was exhausted but buzzing with excitement. Then Romanos and Dugo was like, we can make it better. And in my head, I'm like, hell oh yeah, but I need sleep first. Then Lisa came through like an angel, got me a vegan meal delivered. First proper meal in three days. I'd been surviving on coffee. We had to tear it all down again to make a few tweaks. I really should learn to keep my mouth shut sometimes. But I made sure the tear down was minimal. Too much of that and the structural integrity weakens. We just shifted the spring seat directly onto the live axle bar for better support and strength. In about 30 minutes, everything was back in place and perfect. We turned it over and all was good. Tires no longer brushing against the struts and springs. We are calling it a day here. Tomorrow, Balogun and Romanos will work on the battery cage and finalize the body. Then I'll dive into the electrical setup. See you all tomorrow. Bye.